For years, Taylor Swift has famously refused to discuss politics. But all of that changed with her endorsement of two Democratic congressional candidates in Tennessee. On Instagram, she referenced the past two years as her reason for speaking out now. Let's take a look back through those past two years to see what was going on in Swift's world and in politics and culture more broadly. To state the obvious, Donald Trump was elected president in November 2016. During the campaign, Hillary Clinton had many high-power celebrities backing her, but Swift was noticeably silent, not saying a word about Clinton or Trump. And then, on election day, she posted this. She immediately received backlash for not revealing who she was voting for after such a tumultuous campaign, especially given Trump's attitude toward women. Swift has fueled her brand over the last several years as a feminist who encourages women to stick together. So many of her fans saw the election as a missed opportunity for her to use her wide-ranging influence. There are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. Moving on to 2017, Swift won a counter lawsuit against a Denver DJ who was fired after she said he groped her at a concert meet and greet. Swift's testimony clearly identified DJ David Mueller as the man who groped her, never wavering when he insisted in court that someone else did it. She refused to apologize to him for losing his job, saying, I am being blamed for the unfortunate events of his life that are a product of his decisions and not mine. A few months later, with the Me Too movement in full swing, Time Magazine included Swift on their Person of the Year cover as part of a group they called the Silence Breakers. The magazine said Swift's clear-eyed testimony marked one of several major milestones in the conversation around sexual harassment this year. Which brings us to 2018. Swift went on tour for her album Reputation, while stories about sexual misconduct in the entertainment industry and beyond continued to dominate headlines. In September, President Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, was accused of sexual assault, causing the Senate Judiciary Committee to bring in his accuser, Christine Ford, to testify. Ford vividly detailed the alleged assault while Kavanaugh vehemently denied it in a contentious testimony. Kavanaugh was ultimately confirmed to the Supreme Court on October 6th, while protest against him raged outside. That same day, Swift's national tour for reputation came to an end. And that following day, she posted the now infamous Instagram post, in which she couldn't have been clearer about her politics.